Hi everyone, hope you're staying healthy and staying at home. Today we're going to talk a little bit about my favourite product, Vitamin C. But before we do that, we're going to talk a little bit about skincare. So skincare is an absolute minefield. There are hundreds, if not thousands of products out there. And it's often difficult to know which one is right for you. So let's start off with what does dermatologically tested actually even mean? So there are a number of products out there and a lot of the time I used to find myself going for the one that said dermatologically tested, even though hundreds of them say it. What that actually means in reality is not very much. All that means is that a company that has a skincare product, a new one, will give it to a dermatologist. That dermatologist will try it out, maybe give it to a few friends and family. A few days later, they will then report back to the company and say, well, that was good or that was bad. And then if they say it's good, that means that they are allowed to put down on their packaging that this has been dermatologically tested. So that is the current sort of guess regulation in this country. There are certain ingredients that should be part of most, if not all skincare routines. So the first one is having a good cleanser and toner that's specific to your skin type. Then you need a good moisturizer that's gonna be non-comedogenic, which basically means it's not gonna block up your pores. You then need, and probably most importantly, a high factor SPF protecting your skin, even on dry, rainy days, but that's for another video. And then there are some other additional ingredients that can actually make or break a good skincare routine. So vitamin C is one of them, which we're gonna be talking about today. Um, and then you've got your AHAs and your BHAs. So these are different types of acids for your skin. So AHAs are generally good for most skin types. Uh, they include things like your glycolic acids. These help your skin sort of peel and exfoliate chemically. Then you've got your salicylic acid, which is your BHA, which is better for more acne prone skin. Then uh, you've got either a retinol, which is a weaker form, or your tretinoin, uh, which is also amazing, amazing for your skin. But again, for another video. What is vitamin C and why is it so good for the skin? So in everyday life, we walk around, there's lots of pollutants in the air, UV damage, smoking, etc., all around us. And what this does is causes oxidative stress on our skin cells, and this damages them intrinsically. Vitamin C acts to stop this. Vitamin C's key actions include a very potent antioxidant. It also prevents photoaging, so damage to your skin from UV radiation. It prevents pigmentation by decreasing melanin production in the skin. It also induces collagen production, which helps with fine lines and wrinkles. It protects you against something called photocarcinogenesis, which is essentially protection from sun damage accumulated in your skin. Vitamin C also works with vitamin E in your skin to protect against oxidative damage. So unlike plants and some animals, we're unable to produce vitamin C in our own bodies. So this is because we lack an enzyme called L-gluconogamma-lactone oxidase. So even if you get loads and loads of vitamin C in your diet, it doesn't always make its way to the skin surface. The only real way of getting it to your skin is topically. So there are some vitamin C's that cost a hundred pound plus, and there are some vitamin C's that cost 30 pounds or something. So what, what is the difference? Um, so I personally don't think that the difference lies in the price itself. I think you've got to really look at the ingredients um, on the label. So next time you're looking at which vitamin C to get, have a look at the label. And most of them will contain lots of different forms of um, vitamin C. So some of these include um, L-ascorbic acid. You've got your magnesium ascorbyl phosphate or MAP, ascorbyl 6 palmitate and, and many others. However, L-ascorbic acid is probably the most biologically active and well studied. The others, unfortunately, haven't really been proven to improve or increase the amount of vitamin C available in the skin. L-ascorbic acid, however, has a lot of evidence behind it to prove that it actually works and benefits the skin. So it's important to look for a vitamin C and look at the label and make sure that it contains some form of L-ascorbic acid. You also need to make sure that it's at least, at least 8%. Anything lower than this has been shown in clinical data not to be effective. And anything above 20, 25% also hasn't been proven to add any further benefits to your skin. So there's really good evidence out there that shows that vitamin C can really help improve 
brown spots, pigmentation, fine lines, and a lot of photo damage that can occur on the skin. It can also improve the level of collagen in your skin. So vitamin C is normally come in serums, um, and that you would typically put this on after you've cleansed and toned, but before you put your moisturizer on. Um, I would say you actually need to be able to use the vitamin C for a good six weeks plus to notice a really good difference in your skin. So who is vitamin C serum not ideal for? So uh, mainly it will just be people that have got more acne prone skin or any sort of active skin condition at that time. So I wouldn't advise uh, anyone um, in that category to use it. Also, if you've got really um, sort of moderate to severe pigmentation or melasma, then you'll probably need something stronger on your skin like a hydroquinone based product or, or, or something of that sort uh, than vitamin C. Um, also, when people first start using vitamin C, what you can sometimes find is that you get a little bit of irritation. But from experience, what I've noticed is that with most people, it tends to settle down within a week or so. Uh, so uh, you, you should persevere, but always talk to your uh, practitioner about this if you do experience it. So my favorite uh, vitamin C product is the Obagi Professional C Serum. Um, I use their 15%. Uh, it can go from 10% all the way up to 20%. 15% seems to be really great for my skin. Um, I find that it really helps with my pigmentation, uh, certain fine lines, especially around my mouth area here and around my eyes. Um, and it just gives my skin a lot more brightness and removes that dull appearance of my skin. This is one of my favorite ones. Um, Obagi actually has 10 different products in their range that include some form of uh, strength of vitamin C. Uh, the other two products that I really like uh, of, it, uh, of that include vitamin C in the Obagi range um, is their uh, vitamin C and SPF combination, which I find is really nice and sits really nicely under my makeup. Um, and it doesn't give you that sort of white flaky skin. That's our SPF scan. And also they've got a new product, which is their exfoliating face mask, uh, which I've just recently used and literally it's amazing. Um, you can find all of these products um, on their website or on, on our website. Uh, they've got other products too that combine with hydroquinone um, and they can be a little bit stronger at tackling the pigmentation that you may have on your skin. Uh, they've got a variety of cleansers, toners, other SPFs uh, and many other products that will really help um, fight any skin problems that you may have. And I think each of the 10 products, um, you know, that there's one or two or three in there for everyone because they really will be bespoke to what you need uh, for your particular skin type. So if you've got any questions about vitamin C, then please do uh, let me know. I'm more than happy to answer. I will be uh, doing some more videos on some other uh, key ingredients that I talked about earlier in the video as well. So thank you, take care.